Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrafts.stampinup.net uh, Today I'm bringing you, it'll be the 15th of June when you see this <clears throat> and it's the Stamp Around the World video hop and the theme for this month is texture so I've been playing with a few new things this is the happiest day, this is in the annual catalogue I haven't put my little marker on it yet <clears throat> so I'll be using a, um, a stamp out of there I've also got um, these lovely dies and these are the Thoughtful Wishes dies so there's lots of like um, foliage and leaves and things I've drawn around them because I might as well do that and then I don't lose them and I've also got this lovely 3D dotted circles embossing folder so I'm going to be using that and if I can get them out. We've also got these Spotlight on Nature's dies and these are really lovely dies. They all layer up um, so I'm going to be using two of those as well. So let's get started. So first of all I'm going to do the embossing. So what I've decided to do is a 6x6 six six card for this one. So I've got a piece of card that is 12 by 6 scored at 6 and then we have a piece of basic white which is 5 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters and what I found out the other day as well is these actually cut out some of the circles in here so they fit in and you can cut out so that's nice but I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> I'm sure I will at some point. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line it up centrally. So you might just have to play around with this and move it up and down until you're happy with it. I think I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to run it through. Now my machine's off to the side because it wobbles the desk. But we are going to use... <clears throat> We're going to use for the sandwich the plate number one pop that in and because it's a 3d we use plate number four so let me just run that through and this is what it's like and it's beautiful this total texture on there look at that now it isn't quite central but I'm okay with that we don't need to be smack bang on so I've got that to go on there now I did have a practice on one and I actually colored over it um, she says well oh, there it is so this is the one that I did before so I've got that more central and I've actually gone over with a blending brush with a bit of ink on to bring it out but when I put my flowers on they didn't really stand out so we'll try both of them and see which one we like best so we've got those don't need that for just a minute so we need to cut some circles out and I've got the lovely six by six in colours paper so I've pulled out pretty in pink and summer splash so we're going to die cut got an off cut of white there that'll be all right on that bit can go in the bin afterwards and i've also got some summer splash ribbon so we'll see what's what now i have got my little machine so i'm going to see if this doesn't shake you too much because they will fit through on this so you've got a number one plate and two twos right, let's put that on there I'm just going to cut that down a little bit so it goes straight. There we go. Pop that in. And I'm just going to run that through. Unlike with the big one, it's better if you stagger your plates because it seems to grip and go through better. So that's our white one. It's got lots of texture on that as well so that's good so I'm pop that one out of the way and then we need one of these so I'm just going to pop that on and trim it again so it will go through 
I didn't want to keep diving off over there, you see, so I thought if I uh, do these on the little one, then I'm not missing in action. I'm not shaking you too much, if I am, sorry. <laughs> And there's that one they look lovely right pop them out the way finish with them now just have to uh, get the bits off of that right and we're going to cut some of these out now i have already cut some out uh, but i think this is more uh, the shy shamrock so i'm going to do some in this one in the summer splash so I am just going to cut this up so it goes through and we'll cut a few bits out of this. And I'm thinking for this one we need, where's he gone, this one, just going to knock some of them bits out. So we're going to have that one and a couple of leaves that one in and these two off here as well the sticky on here is so sticky got two of them and two of these might not use them all but we'll see pop our plate on top and we'll just run that through this little one is good for doing little bits and bobs. Right. So, so we've got a few bits. Put them off to the side. And then just want a bit of white. <coughs> and we'll do this one. in and it's stuck right, so where's my pokey tool gone I did have my pokey tool before there he is let's pop him out lift him off gently Out. Lovely. <clears throat> I don't think I need another one. I have got a couple bits cut out, so let's move that out of the way. And we'll have a go at putting things together and see what they look like. Oops. This one. They've already fell out. Pull these out the way. And give ourselves some room. We don't need these little bits. So these are that one I've already done, and I'll just show you how I did that. Straight forward. So I wanted to give the uh, flowers a little bit of colour. So I've got um, pretty and pink here. I've got a blending brush. I'm just going to pick some ink up off that. And then I'm just going to get this and then just go over the flowers. There we go. And that's all I did on that. Then I've already done one in pretty and pink and I didn't know whether... To do one in the summer splash and see which one we like best. Oops, it's a bit stiff. Right. I'm just going to do that because it's it's a new stamp, just to make sure it stamps okay. So let's get that in. Oh, 
Now that one looks a bit bubbly, whereas that one doesn't, so I think we'll be using that one. Let's close these up. So let's have a look. Right, so my thinking is I was going to put on a couple of these, but you see how I, I feel like it gets lost in the pink, even though that is lovely, and I'd use that for another card. So I'm thinking of going with the white, popping them on, on a dimensional, and just having them coming out. see now that one looks all right on the white because it doesn't get lost within the pink the only thing I'm going to do with this is I've got a pair of tweezers and I'm just going to uh, add a bit more texture to the leaves just giving them a twist they don't look so rigid then like I was saying this is <clears throat> a video hop so in the description bar below you will see a link to everybody else's videos so when you finish with me if you would please go and give them some love they would much appreciate it and plus you can see their take on the theme texture right so let's stick some things down so which way does this open I so this is going to go on here, like so. I'm just going to use my Tom Goat bow for this. Get it on all the flat bits. Make sure it sticks. nice I'm going to stick this one to this one because I shall put it up on dimensionals when I finish so that's going to go over the centre there and I'm thinking we'll have these coming down here like that and where's my leaves and I thought about having a couple of leaves poking out Let's see if I can pick them up I've had my nails done to go away for a retreat weekend so um, the new so I can't pick things up <laughs> quite like that Or maybe I'll turn that one round and I've got one like that. Yes, I quite like that. Right, so we need to stick these down and my glue. Normally I'd use tear and tape, but I've run out of tear and tape. So I'll pop him on there. You won't see that glue once the uh, circle goes down. I like that. The only other thing I'm going to do is if I've got some mini dimensionals here, which I'm sure I have, I have. I think I'm going to put a mini dimensional behind them. So I think I'll put one there and one in there so it'll keep it raised oops there we go I'll keep that raised and I like that 
I just need to stick these bits in. This is going to be a bit more fiddly. But what I may do is just put the glue under here and then that way I can stick these like that. Oops. And then we just need some dimensionals for the back. <coughs> I was quite pleased this is texture. It gets me playing with some different things that I've not used. Let's get those off. Good job I checked then, actually, I didn't check up put them in the right place. And that will just go over them, like so. I did have a silver one here, but I don't know whether that will just be a bit too much or... Might chop a bit off the bottom. in as well bit of a sprig and then all I need now is a bit of ribbon and we should put bulk on it I do like this ribbon actually, it does tie nice. I don't want a massive bow, just a ickle one. Is that a chop? I'm thinking just pop that on the side. Do we like that? Is that a bit too much? Yes, I'm going to pop it on. Let's pop on there with a glue dot. And then perhaps you can tell me in the comments whether I should have left the ribbon off or left it on. <laughs> Let's just see if I've got any current gems. As long as ones. Nope, none in there. Let's just have a look. These are all my current gems in the annual catalog. So, oh, got butterflies, need butterflies. And let's see. I'm going to go for basic rhinestones because um, <clears throat> they'll pick up this silver here. So we'll just pop a few on. on that. Go, might put another couple on. I love my bling. And I was going to put a butterfly on, but they're gold butterflies. So we'll leave the butterfly off. But that's my card. So I really hope you like that. That's the my take on texture. So we've got the embossing folder, the 3D circle embossing folder. We've got the Spotlight in Nature dies, which are the both got texture on. Um, I've got the Thoughtful Wishes dies, where we've cut out and we've... Uh, 
use the blending brush just to highlight it in pretty in pink and we've finished off with the um, summer splash ribbon and some basic rhinestones uh, so I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you can join me again next month uh, like I said please give everybody else uh, a look because you'll get some brilliant inspiration and hope to see you again soon bye